Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to make this basketball hoop in Blender. So when you open Blender, shift A and go mesh cube, choose the cube. Then what you are going to do, go to the edit mode by pressing tab and then choose this face by pressing three. You are going to choose this face and move this face down. And you are going to choose these four edges, these uh, four edges by pressing control, uh, alt, click on one of these edges. Okay, so you are going to select all the four edges and then uh, press ctrl p to pebble so you are going to use the mouse wheel you will find it like this you are going to use the mouse wheel to add some segments not cut sorry <laughs> this is segments okay sorry for my english and uh, my pronunciation i want to help you to make this beautiful uh, hoop in blender okay so what you are going to do next is to make this beveling okay so to do this you are going to choose the, this face by pressing three choose this face and control p or b control p and uh, add these loop cuts like this okay nice and these segments okay so we have this nice shape to give it more more detail just click the shade smooth and auto add also shade auto smooth okay good now what we are going to do next is we are going to make this this uh, white line okay or this line, white shape or detail so to do this again select the shape that we have created then go to the top we are going to add a loop cut here so to do this you are going to uh, press ctrl r to add two loop cut click then with a right click okay simple so now we are going to scale on the z axis move it like this scale with the z axis okay then you are going to do to choose all these faces around this object so to do this press 3 to choose all the face and control alt then press on one of these faces like this simple so now we are going to extrude outside or along the normal with right click and go to extrude faces along normal then try to move these faces outside like this it's nice don't uh, make it uh, too much just like this nice we have this nice detail okay good i think we are going to add a cylinder here okay so what you are going to do is go to choose this uh, again this object press tab then pr choose this face and control uh, sorry shift s course cursor to selection uh, selection yes and then go outside by tab go to the object mode then uh, shift a go to the mesh and go to cylinder press s to scale this cylinder like this and click then what we are going to do to uh, now we are going to move the cylinder here okay and then and then we're going to zoom to see we're going to extrude another cylinder from the same cylinder so to do this just click on the object the cylinder then press tab to go to the edit mode and choose this face and then press i to inset and then e to extrude like this okay nice now we are going to zoom, zoom out so we can see our work and then again zoom like this or not zoom <laughs> sorry we are going to uh, make this up like this so we are going to make again uh, i think we're going to make this ring now okay so, or before that we're going to make this uh, shape of the hoop okay so uh, to do this you are going to uh, click on this face choose this face and press shift s cursor to select it okay we are going to add another shape that looks like this we're going to create something like this press tab again to go to the object mode and press then uh, shift a to choose another shape which is now and we have mesh and we are going to choose uh, cube yes and press s again yes s to scale it down like this and click okay and then we're going to scale on the y axis and you are going to go uh, to the edit mode choose this face and move it up like this nice okay go to the uh, edit mode press tab choose this face three face use choose this face sorry for my my english choose this face and move it like this and go to the object mode move it like this nice uh, don't worry about this <laughs> okay now we are, what we are going to do to go uh, before that we are going to apply the scale ctrl a apply scale and go to the edit mode choose number two choose this face and this face sorry not face these two edges and press ctrl p you are going to add more loop cuts and click okay nice click shade smooth click again shade auto smooth nice and also make this one uh, uh, smoother by auto shade smooth and again shade auto smooth nice uh, let's zoom out to see okay nice this one and also to scale this one up like this yeah yes nice now what we are going to make is the loop here this one or this wing and the net okay to do this you are going to choose this object again go to the edit mode press three to choose this face and control uh, shift s cursor to selection and then go to the uh, object mode shift, shift a and go to uh, let's choose not let's choose curve circle okay now scale this like this and let's see from the top and uh, okay like this one good and 
let's make this one here i think this one this is the right place good now what we are going to do go to the object data properties click and go to the geometry and then walk down to the depth add some depth okay this one is cool okay i think 0.14 is good nice now let's move uh, to the uh, we're going to add this detail this one this cylinder okay so to do this uh, let's move this uh, ring here okay so shift s cursor to selection and uh, shift a again mesh let's make the cylinder let's add the cylinder press s and move it like this you are going to rotate with uh, 90 degrees and then move this one like uh, here okay scale it like this okay nice uh, make a scale like this again and change the place of this uh, cylinder uh, put it like this so control or click with the right click shade smooth and again with the right click shade auto smooth good now we're going to add some uh, geometry to this uh, loop so to do this control uh, control 2 to add subdivision set with level of 2 okay nice let's add another detail choose this one this ring and move it like here scale again this one okay now move to the top uh, or move to the edit mode to this phase and i to insert E to extrude and then we're going to make the net it's simple just uh, press shift a choose a mesh and go to cylinder and then press s to scale and then move it like this move this down and we are going to go to the edit mode by pressing tab uh, add some loop cut with ctrl r okay uh, 10 make it 10 uh, number of the cuts are 10 then go to the edit mode choose this face press 3 choose this face and this face press x and delete the faces okay it's nice now uh, we are going to add some loop cuts to our uh, cylinder. Pre go to the uh, go to the edit mode. Press Ctrl R. Then add some loop cuts. We make them ten. And go to the uh, modifiers panel. Uh, go to the object mode first. Go to the uh, modifiers and move to uh, triangle lane. Go to the edit mode A. Choose all these faces and right click and move to end subdivide. Nice iterations of one. Okay, you will find the two and make it one. Okay. Press 1, then move these faces like this uh, with thickness of 0.01. X, delete the faces, you will find this nice basket, okay? Now what we are going to do is uh, choose uh, this view. In the edit mode, press 1, you are going to choose these vertices, you are going to choose them and press X, delete the vertices, all the vertices, sorry. Click X, vertices, okay, good. Now. Uh, choose this option click or you can use the shortcut O. We are going to choose uh, these uh, vertices uh, move uh, using the mouse wheel okay just move this until you are satisfied with a shape like this okay so again press this one and choose to make it like this good this is a nice one maybe we are going to scale it like this oh, nice good next what we are going to do we are going to add some thickness to this basket go to the uh, modifier panel add another modifier which is uh, uh, solidify with a with a thickness okay you can add just a little bit thickness okay good now we are going to click shade smooth auto shade smooth nice now we're going to scale this one like this now what we are going to do we are going to add this uh, basket shape okay or logo i don't know now choose this uh, shape shift s cursor to selection go to add another shape which is going to be the curve circle click here and uh, choose the align to the view scale and move it let's move up move it up and then go to the uh, object data properties and go to the bevel geometry bevel add some bevel nice scale it like this next what we are going to do we are going to add these shapes so to do this shift a another uh, curve now we have the path we are going to choose the path uh, okay uh, make uh, rotate the path like this scale it with s and uh, let's add some depth again Now we are going to add the plane, shift A, mesh plane, S to scale, G to grab, Z, sorry, G, Z, and move it down like this. Now we are going to play with this, good. Now, S, shift Z, nice. 